Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shell, if you are new here. Today, we have new products from e.l.f. that I am so excited to try. Let's see what I got. Okay, the first thing we got was this glossy lip stain in Coral Cutie. And there's the packaging. Now that I'm in an office by myself, I get to wear more makeup clearly, and it's really exciting to me. It's the little things in life, I'm telling you. This is really cute packaging. It actually reminds me of my NARS one. Hold on. Right? Like very similar. Let's do a little swatch. Ooh, that's so pretty. This will be so nice for like springtime too. Mm. It looks a little more orange on the camera, I feel like, than in real life, but that's really pretty. Then I got this Stardust Glitter Eyeliner in Shimmer Gold. I'm very curious to try this. I think it would be fun to do, you know, like if like if I did a smoky eye, but then I put this like glitter liner on it. I just think that would be so sick. Very interesting packaging. Why is this so long? <laughs> kind of seems silly, but whatever. Okay. Nice. Then I got their Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara Flexible Brush in Deep Brown. So I heard that if you have blue eyes to do brown mascara. And I honestly, I, I just have always done black. So I was like, that's a great idea, especially for like natural makeup days. I think that would be really fun. There's the like bristles there. Right. And then I got some brushes. So this is their flat foundation brush. Now that I'm using more cream products and stuff like that, I've actually been, I have one brush like this and I've been using it more. So I wanted to try theirs out. I also got this precision smudge brush. I wish that like all of their packaging was that white I, or the like clear. I just think it looks sick, but I like the black too. You know what I mean? Like that looks cool. I also love their detail crease brush and I have a couple of them already. So I got another one. I use it a lot. So I figured I could use another one for sure. But that's what it looked like. It's really small. So it's great because when you want to blend out up in here, like if I wanted to put a different color here and blend it out more, it works fantastic for that. And then I got a small stipple brush people using this more with their foundation and I'm just curious about it I've never actually used one before it feels nice so I don't know if I'll use this with like a cream contour or if I'll use this with foundation maybe I'll try both I don't know we'll see and then I wanted to get a couple different things from their mint collection so this is this is their no budge eyeshadow I've never really used an eyeshadow stick before and I'm just curious about it and people seem to be really enjoying these. I also feel like you could probably use this in your like waterline too, but ooh, that feels creamy. Can you see that? Probably not. It's like a nice mint color. Yeah, there you go. See a little better. That feels lovely. Okay, and then I got another one, you guys, and oh, I didn't even tell you what the color was in the other one. Does it tell you? So this one is the Mint For You, and this one is Ice Cream. Oh, that's a cool color. It's like a silvery gold. I like that. I'm literally going to try this in my waterline right now. Interesting. I don't know if you can see a difference. I'll zoom you in. Uh, I don't really see a difference, but we'll see. I don't know if it's made for water lines or not. Again, I've never used them before, so we'll try it out. I'll actually use it on my eyes. I got their mint cleanser, the mint melt. So we'll try this out. Maybe we'll try it tonight. I do really like the packaging. Let's see if it smells like anything. It just kind of smells like, like a soap, but it doesn't, I'm not thrilled about it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. 
the smell I mean. Then I also got this Mint Melt Cleansing Cloud. I like to use these a lot, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Maybe I'll try it tonight because I do have, you know, like a full face on so we can see how this does. And then I also got as a gift their cleansing balm. So maybe I'll try this and this. And they also have their Holy Hydration Daily Cleanser. I've never tried that either. So we definitely have some things to try. I don't know how interested you guys are in seeing the brushes, but I can, I'll try to show you them while I'm doing some of my makeup just so you can see. So we have some goodies to try out from e.l.f. I cannot freaking wait. So I will be back at the end of the night and I will show you guys the, I'm sorry that you can probably hear my cat whining away. He's mad because I haven't fed him yet. Tonight we will try this with the cleansing balm. We will also try the cleanser, the um, mint melt Minty Fresh Cooling Cleanser. That sounds lovely. So we'll try that as well tonight. So I am super excited to try this stuff out and I will be back in just a second. As we come to the end of the night, I am in my jammies, all nice and cozy. So sorry for the uh, really good outfit I have going on. But I wanna try out this stuff from e.l.f. So let's do it together. I'm gonna put my hair back because I don't want to wash it because lazy. So obviously we're gonna go on with the uh, cleansing balm first. See how it feels, oh, it feels nice. So this feels really nice. I like this. The cleansing balm feels really nice as well. I didn't need a ton of it. And that's kind of where we're looking right now. It really did well. So now for this, let me see. It doesn't say to shake it, so I'm not going to. Here we go. Initial thoughts, it removed my makeup really well little close-up so you can see it feels nice my skin feels soft if I break out tomorrow we'll know why so uh, I like it so far can't I don't have any complaints the foam of this feels really nice it gives like the slightest cooling effect but I was expecting a little more to be honest this I love I will use this a million times and the cleansing balm I really like too so far. So, so far this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy. But yeah, that I just wanted to show you guys how it took off the makeup. I think it did pretty good. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. And we'll test out the makeup. Guys, we are on a new day and I look crazy. But I am working on doing my makeup right now and I want to try some of this e.l.f. product stuff out. So... Right now, I am winging out my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. And I want to use their smudger brush. So I want to try it with you guys and see what we think. So let's do that together. I do have to give it to e.l.f. They do have really nice, smooth brushes. That's working really nicely. Nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna try this No Budge Eyeshadow. This is an ice cream. No idea what I'm doing with this, but. It is pretty. And it's really not like moving my makeup around too much, which is nice because I'm putting it over eyeshadow right now and it's it's just laying on top of it. That's pretty. I want to try this, but this doesn't really go with what I'm doing right now, but I think I might try it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. 
but I don't mind it. Now I want to try the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. Let me curl my eyelashes. So what I'm noticing with this is it's really good at separating my lashes, but giving me that thickness that I like, not so much. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. It's, it's not bad though. I've tried other mascaras from e.l.f. and really didn't like them, so I'm not, I'm not hating on that for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna try the flat brush here. So I really wanna go light today with my makeup. So I'm gonna go in with the Super Goop CC Cream. This is in 105N. I just moisturized my face today, did not put a primer on. I've been very lazy with the primers lately and it really hasn't affected my makeup. I don't know, I'm kinda over the primers, you guys. I feel like every time I put primer on, it just messes up my makeup. It things slide around, and maybe I'm putting too much on, I don't freaking know. But I'm kind of over it. And I'm liking the lighter coverage look now. Like, I accept I have my scarring from my acne and all that. It just doesn't bother me like it used to. I, I mean, I don't love it, but it really doesn't bother me anymore. So unless I have like a full breakout moment, I try to go lighter coverage at this point. Really nicely, but I do need some more. I always like to go in after no matter what I use with the sponge. Cause I want my skin to look as much like skin than makeup at this point, you know? So now I'm gonna go in with a little concealer. This is the Juvia's Place Concealer in J23, if you were curious. And I'm just gonna do that much. And I'm gonna use this brush again, the flat one. And just kinda push that into the skin. I do have to say, I feel like e.l.f. has come such a long way. Like, I remember when I first started using e.l.f. and I was like, this is just not it, you guys. And now, like, I just feel like a lot of their products are really nice for the price point. It's rare that I don't like an e.l.f. product at this point. Nice, right? I'm awake. Now, I want to try, I want to try to use the stippling brush with my contour. So, just gonna do a little bit. So I'm mixing these two Fenty ones. This is honey and this one's amber. Cause the honey is a little bit too warm. So the mix of the two works out really nicely, I think. And I love how they do that. I just think that is like the neatest thing ever. All right, let's see how this brush works. It's funny, cause I've been seeing people use this kind of a brush all the time lately, and I just never got on the bandwagon, but I can see why it's so popular. This is blending out so nicely. All right, and then, I like to do a little mix of cream and powder. I'm trying to use up this Milani blush. Blush? Nope, it's a bronzer. It's taking forever. All right. Then I'm going in with the Tarte blush. This is in Party. looking really pretty. All right, and then I'm just gonna set my face with some powder. Now I just wanna see what this looks like. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this for the day, but I would love to see what this looks like on the lips. Huh. 
It feels like cooling. Has a nice pretty color to it. Okay guys, so let's just quickly go over everything. So, so far these I like. This mint green one I really like more for like in the waterline. And this one I liked more on my lid. This one did not really work on the waterline. Which makes sense because it's like glittery, you know. This is very subtle. I do like it. I don't know if you could make a full wing with this. Maybe if I did a very subtle makeup look I could. But I do think it's cute and it wasn't expensive and I do like it. The flat brush worked great. No complaints there. Uh, the smudge brush I really liked and again I loved the packaging on this. I ended up not using this today. This is that crease brush but I know I like it. I've used it a thousand times. This is like the new exciting thing for me. I really really liked this. I feel like my contour looks really nice. And I just think it blended everything out like a dream. I just am really impressed with how this looks, you know? So that is probably like my new holy grail. The cleansing balm, I really, really liked. It's very buttery, it's very smooth, it didn't break me out. Neither did that uh, minty fresh, conceal uh, not concealer, I'm sorry, the cleanser. I've used that a couple times. It has not broken me out. I do really like it. It's very foamy and it just really feels like you're getting in there and cleaning things out. Um, the mascara, I like it. I'm not obsessed with it. I actually didn't do my bottom lash, so let's do it right now. I think this is nicer for like a low key kind of a day. So yeah, you just have to be careful with this. I feel like I keep stabbing my eye with it and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just me or if that brush is bigger or what. This, I mean, I don't know how it's going to wear over time, but it's not sticky. It feels moisturizing. I like the color of it. Gives my lips a little bit of life, you know. Overall, great haul. I liked everything for the most part. I didn't spend a lot of money to get all of this, you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Have you tried any of this stuff? What do you think? What are your thoughts on e.l.f. just in general as a brand? Because I have to say I'm really impressed with how far they've come over the years, you know. So... I actually really look forward to it. They came out with that cookies and cream and I was like, oh my God, I love it. But I really didn't need anything from it. So I ended up not getting anything. I loved the sponge. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> um, but yeah, so with that being said, you guys, how did you like this video? Please comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys.